welcome to Whose Line Is Anyway, the improvisation show which does for comedy. Featuring tonight, so the Greg Proops, the best person to appear on the show tonight so far. And then a, then a man of a thousand voices, most of them other people's, the serial impressionist Rory Bremner. And then Colin Mockery, the best person called Colin Mockery to appear on the show tonight. And finally, Ryan Stiles, the best person we could get at this short notice. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. Okay. Let's... Let's get... We'll begin with a game called Questions Only. It's for all four contestants, but starting in the middle with Greg and Colin, they do a scene in which they only... they have to speak only in questions, and the other two will take over from them if I buzz the original two out for not asking questions. Sounds easy to do, but often goes wrong. The scene is just before... <laughs> just before a prison breakout. Just before a prison breakout, away you go. Only questions. Are you ready? Did you bring the plans? Was I supposed to bring the plans? Don't you have them? Do you think I should write them out now? <laughs> Wait, is it a little late? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have you finished the tunnel? <laughs> it only goes under the wall. Weren't you in charge? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wasn't that the guy who was building the tunnel? Do you know him? Do you? Didn't he look familiar? I thought I'd never seen him before in my life. And that was another question. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? How'd you know it was me in my disguise? <laughs> nice man. <laughs> Warden, what are you doing here? <laughs> Do you think it's irregular if I escape with you? <laughs> Would you like to come with us? Could I? Can we stay at your summer home? <laughs> the one in Miami? Uh, the one in Miami? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you the governor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who's your favorite guard dog? And that puts Ryan one point in the lead. I don't think the other's ever going to catch him. As we go into a game called <laughs> Film and Theatre Styles, Ryan and Greg are going to improvise a scene in just a moment, but they're going to break into a variety of interesting film and theatre styles, as suggested now, I hope, by members of the studio audience. So anybody got any interesting film or theatre styles? Star Woody Trek. Allen film. Star Trek, Woody Allen. Dracula. Dracula. Godzilla. Yes. Promotion video. NYPD promotion video. <laughs> <laughs> you do the voice for it, don't you? <laughs> I think it's Kent you do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Tourist promotion, very good one. Any Airline more around here? Well, I've Charlie got... Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin, Airline yes. Airline safety videos. Which science video? Airline safety video. Airline safety video, yes, good, yes. OK, now the scene I'd like you to do, you're two high-tech explorers on the rim of a volcano. OK, and I'll <laughs> cut it with some styles in just a moment. Away you go. Oh, that's one big hole. Wait a minute, let me check my high-tech device. <laughs> you're right, it's huge. <laughs> I didn't know you brought the... <laughs> <laughs> the cigarettatron. <laughs> Tourist information video. What a lovely volcano it is. It certainly is. Now, when visiting a volcano, be sure not to step too close to the edge. And if you can't afford to be here, why not visit the lovely town of Bath? One of the cleanest towns in England. Clean to fit its name. Bath. Dracula. <laughs> that was a juicy beetle. You don't often find them around the volcano like this. <laughs> I've noticed something odd. That in the reflection of the lava, you have no reflection. Please! <laughs> Look, up there, aircraft. Aircraft? Where? Oh, oh, that feels good. Oh. Still, Woody Allen. Perfect. <laughs> Stuck on a volcano with a fetishist. <laughs> Airline safety video. I just want you to know that if this thing blows, and we have to get out of here. There's two exits at the front. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. I know, man. That, that seemed very convincing, but perversely, Colin wins that, and he wasn't even in it. As we go into a game called <laughs> News Reports, 
Uh, it's going to feature Greg and Colin as news anchor men in the studio. Rory will be a reporter in the field interviewing people who come along in the story. But in this news programme, they don't, we don't talk about uh, news exactly. We talk about the story of the princess and the frog. Uh, that's it, princess and the frog. Uh, take it away, you two, when the news report music starts. Good evening, I'm Salty Basket. <laughs> and I'm Hoss Cartwright. No relation. <laughs> The princess and the frog. The princess found the frog, she went to kiss it, and then something happened. Hoss. That's why a very long tongue went down her throat. <laughs> Something's in my ear. I've got Des Lynham out in the field. Des, <laughs> chucking it over to you. Uh, hi there. Is that salty? Yes, it is. <laughs> Good for you. Right. Uh, <laughs> I've, uh, I've got here one of the leading frog breeders uh, of, the last, uh, of the last 10 years, in fact. Now, Henry, Henry Cecil, you've been breeding frogs for how, how long is it now? 39 years. <laughs> interesting? Uh, yes, this is an especially interesting frog. Usually, when a princess kisses a frog, it turns into a prince. Uh, this one uh, turned into the frog formerly known as Prince. <laughs> Hoss, any comments on that? Turning into the frog formerly known as Prince. That's got to be a hassle. <laughs> of course, the princess first uh, experimented with different animals. The most painful one being a hedgehog. Yes. <laughs> Kissing the hedgehog is not always what it... Hello? Oh. Des is in my ear again. Des, we're chucking it back out to you. Uh, yes, I've actually just managed to track down a princess. Princess, did you have to kiss a lot of frogs? I did. A lot of frogs. Can I call you Diana? Um, you can if you want. Uh, this is the first frog that uh, really worked for me. It was very tragic. All the rest croaked. <laughs> Back to Sully. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Uh, tune in tomorrow when Haas tells you about our next story. My thing's gone right into my ear. Right in. <laughs> I can't get it out. Really? Yeah. That's all the time we have. We'll see you tomorrow. Right in. Right in. Good night, everyone. Good episode of News Report there, won uh, by a short head by Ryan. As we go on to a game called Picture, this is for all four contestants who like to make their way over there. There we have an old master, uh, we've had a picture, and uh, we've vandalised it by cutting holes in it, and each competitor has to insert his head in an appropriate hole. I don't think I have to give any more introduction than that. <laughs> Cordial. Here, boy. Up. Hey, up, you, boy. You can't bring dogs in here. This is a non-Danish bar. Ah, sorry, I forgot. What are you here for? to get a drink around here? Hey, who's hey. the boy in the leather pants? <laughs> don't believe we've met. Is that your dog? Here, boy. I had five <laughs> fingers when I came in here. Oh, he likes he likes tasty fingers. Say, you're not German, are you? What's it to you? Uh, if not, those leather pants are awful weird. <laughs> Who's gonna take this drink? My arm's about to fall off. <laughs> I'll take it. We just came in for the Siamese twins special anyway. <laughs> I thought I told you twins to stay out of here. No, look at the sign on the door. All Siamese twins get drinks half off. And tell those people behind you to stop staring. <laughs> We're not freaks! Get out of here! We're not freaks! I get it! I'll take all the lot of you. Arm wrestling. Right, you come to my corner of the table. Uh, All right, I'll be right over. <laughs> but first, let me serve this drink. <laughs> Why, I love some of that. I can't quite. Uh, I can't reach it either. I can't. No. Yeah. Here, boy. <laughs> What's that? Okay, it's in there. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Undoubtedly, that's the best round. That's the best round of picture you've ever done, which is uh, no surprise because it uh, hardly ever works. As we go on to a game called Stand, Sit, Bend, uh, this is for Greg, Colin, and Ryan. Now, the idea of this game: in any given time, one person has to be standing, another has to be sitting, another one has to be bending over, and if one person changes, then uh, the other ones have to change. And it's in a Wild West saloon. A Wild West saloon. Away you go, all three of you. Ding, 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 what do you mean, stop playing? I'll tell you. Say, no stranger comes in here and tells me to stop playing. <laughs> I'll just say you don't know who I am. <laughs> hey, is this yours? Thank you. I well, I don't know who you are, mister. Who are you? I'm 
Black Bob Boomby. That's right, he is. Black Bob Boomby? Yes. <laughs> the greatest gunslinger ever? Yes. <laughs> Those are some fine guns you got there. Mind if I try them out? Nobody touches my gun. I don't think you're so tough. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You think, think you ain't so tough? Stop you me! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'll take you on. All right. Who's going to draw off first? It's going to be a gunfight. There's going to be a gunfight. <laughs> hey, there's going to be a gunfight. There's going to be a gunfight. <laughs> You're probably in a bad place for a gunfight. <laughs> get out of the way. There. Can't get much more dangerous than this. No, you can't. Now let's see who's a man. Wait a minute. I can't let this continue. Why what? not? What? Well, let me sing you a little song. All right. I can't let this continue. Ding, 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 ding. Don't you see? What? We should all learn to love each other. Yes, I know. Oh, right. What? <laughs> I said I was going to give the points to that last game, but I was so interested in those adverts, which are really good, weren't they? Let's go on to a game called Props. Now, Colin and Ryan, I'm going to give you this item, or these items, in the time available. Whereas the other pairing? Oh, there's two of these as well, look. Uh, there you go, Greg and Rory. Nice, exciting, cheery props left over from children's television. So, where you go, starting over there with Colin and Ryan, I'll buzz and I'll get the idea. <laughs> Hello, I'm Pamela Anderson. That's right. I'm the girl of a thousand nipples. Careful, Brumner. It's sister ship is landing. <laughs> you keep it that way. Salad, table four. <laughs> One week at Ascot, we have to come in the same hat. <laughs> I don't know what's been happening. It's been talking to me for weeks. I am from the planet of the Insectatrons. <laughs> Perhaps you've seen my craft. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Haven't you ever been to a rave? <laughs> Come on, son, try to remember where you buried Mom in the sand. Do I have a huge spot on my forehead? Look, we're the last two members of the gay army left. Get those Germans! That's, I think that I think that's the best that game's ever been played, a quarter of a point each. As we go on to News Flash, and this is going to feature Greg Proops as a reporter in some exotic location, which is over there. Uh, whereas back in the studio, Ryan and Colin will be kind of news anchormen uh, taking his report. But this is the strange thing, because this is television work, apparently. He is not in an exotic location, he's just in front of a blank screen. And the exotic location is electronically uh, placed on it behind him. Even if he turns around, he doesn't know where he is. But he had to work it out from the questions and answers conversation he has with the news anchor men here. Nothing could be longer than that. So away you go, <laughs> Ryan and Colin and Greg. Good evening. I'm Lyle Moon. <laughs> and this is a special news bulletin. Yes, there's a late-breaking story. Greg, you're out there in the field. Exactly what is happening? Yes, there's a great deal of excitement out here. <laughs> I can't tell you how thrilling it is to be here in the midst of all of this. My heart is beating, my pulse is racing, and I can barely keep it together. Well, thank God that heart's beating, Greg. It's keeping the temperature up, I suppose. Yes, it is. <laughs> now that you mention it, uh, with all the excitement going on here, I neglected to notice the temperature was as, as hot as it is. Really? Hey, what started all the excitement? 
Sorry? What started all that excitement? I, I can hardly hear you. It is so loud behind me. Um, what started it? Well, uh, I guess a couple of days ago, a couple of guys got together and they just started going crazy. And ever since then, it's been panda bloody monium here. That's all I can say. Is that what's happening behind you now? What? Is that pandemonium behind you now? Oh, look at that. There's, there's, it's madness. <laughs> Whoa! Craig, oh, Craig, Craig, you guys. Craig, I'm, I'm Lyle here. Craig, Lyle here. <laughs> what? Lyle here. Oh, hello, Lyle. Don't you think you? you would fit in a little bit better if you had worn a tux? Oh, really? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yes, I guess it would. Oh, there goes a leopard seal. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God, what's happening behind you now, Greg? I can barely describe the excitement. It looks like there's thousands of them, and they're... <laughs> They're going berserk. Okay, Check Greg, your prescription. They're out of their minds. Okay, Greg, what, what is it? Have you got a guess yet? I think I'm at the South Pole at a penguin room. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, fantastic. The scores are very, very close. In fact, they're just here, right in front of me. As we go into a game called Superheroes, for all four competitors, but starting with Greg Proops, we'll decide what sort of superhero he is, and he'll decide who the next person in will be, who's Ryan, followed by Colin, by Rory, and they decide all on the line, and the game will proceed from there. So, what sort of superhero do you think uh, Greg should be? Hey, boy. Impotence boy. Imp <laughs> Impotence boy. <laughs> It's strange we should have a close friend of Greg's in tonight to... <laughs> so, in impotence boy, and what is the problem? Uncle Bill? <laughs> that is so weird. It's weird, isn't it? What's the global problem, worldwide problem he's dealing with? Shortage of paint. Shortage of paint? You're strange. <laughs> Shortage of paint is the problem. You are impotence boy, Greg. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a shortage of paint. I... Oh, no. <laughs> Thought I almost achieved one. <laughs> I guess it's just the word paint. I hope my super friends come soon. This is a crisis of global proportions. Sorry I'm late. I didn't think I was going to be able to come. Well, they... you, you must know all about that. <laughs> you know, they say talking about it helps, but it hasn't so far. <laughs> Thank God you're here, huge gesture boy. Well, it's nice to be here. I just walked right up the stairs, and here I am. Oh, will you keep doing that? This? Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Oh, oh Chris. Chris. Sorry I'm late. I was just having sex constantly. Sorry. <laughs> Thank God you're here, cramp boy. Oh, God. Oh, the pants. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're running out of power. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank God you're here, Scottish weatherman! <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can see, I look, uh, blue skies, uh, blue skies, blue hills, and everything blue for as far as the eye can see. At least until oh, the weekend. You had better More go. I am us. getting excited about the weather. Look at that. Thanks, Get out of here, you. <laughs> well, now that you're off your knees, I have no use for you. Go away! <laughs> Everything's okay. Yes, everything is okay. I'll just be on my way. Bye-bye. Got it. I hope they come again. I know I can't. All right. All right. There you go. All right. That's it. Well done. Frighteningly realistic performance there for everyone, especially Greg. As we go on to a game called Animals, this is for Colin, Greg and Ryan. They're going to be playing a soap opera, but as an animal, and the animal is cats. So Colin and Greg are two cats at home, uh, and that's the title of it, Trouble at Home. And Ryan will come in in due course, and he's also a cat. So what could be simpler than this? I guess it's not working, Muffy. <laughs> oh, look, it's that big Tom. <laughs> Hi. I can't believe you. I... He wants to see me, and you're taking all his spray. That's hey, all I was asking hey, for. Hey, there's yes, enough spray to go around. <laughs> spray galore. <laughs> Hey, 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 let's not fight. 
there's enough time to go around for everyone. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the kitties. That's why you get so much pussy. <laughs> Which one of you I like better? <laughs> you, you kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But you, there's something about you. That sparkle in your eyes, the sharp little claws. The way you throw that tail up in the air. <laughs> Show off that tight little pink butt of yours. <laughs> there's something that makes me want to sit on top of a fence and howl all night. I bet you get shoes thrown at you. <laughs> He's mine, sister, mine. Fine, fine. I'll play with the mouse. It's all right, he's no problem. I brought my secret weapon. Okay. No time. No time to score that game as we go on to a game called Hats. And the, in this, uh, Colin and Ron will be one team. They have to equip themselves with a box of hats and a stool, whereas uh, Greg and Rory are the other team. They have another stool, another box of hats. And you've got to just, by using those hats, come up with as many examples as you can think of as the world's worst dating agency videos. Using those hats, starting over there with Colin and Ryan, I'll buzz and get the idea. Let me help you make that first jump. Hi, honey. Do you... <laughs> Do you enjoy long walks in the garden followed by a frenzied run into the house? Hi. <laughs> Not only am I a good date, but I can pick up 450 different stations on television. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a terrible judge of character. <laughs> Would you date me? <laughs> Who's gonna walk my plank? I'm worth four million dollars. I own 63 eyeglass shops <laughs> that I inherited from my father when he fell into a lens grinder and made a spectacle of himself. <laughs> Looks aren't important. <laughs> you know, being a pimp, it's very hard to meet girls. <laughs> I'm very sensitive. I like to cuddle. Don't like the rain much. <laughs> Chris Evans is in the studio. <laughs> been her, now I've been him. <laughs> Remember me? I used to be in the village people. Okay, and uh, uh, I shall rule that that'll be the last uh, game we'll play tonight. And adding up the points, I see that uh, Ryan and Greg are this week's winners. So well done, Ryan and Greg. And the prize for winning is to read the credits in the style of my choosing, and please do it in the style of two super studs uh, bagging, bragging about their conquests. So it just remains to be to thank Greg Proops, Rory Bremner, Colin Mockery, Ryan Stiles, me, Clemens, and say good night. Good night. Richard Branch? Adam. Chris Owen? Adam. Which way? <laughs> Brian Lofthouse. Loft. Way up high in a loft. Twice. Really? <laughs> Bob Barker, Rob Baker, Clarence Tucky. You know what that rhymes with? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel. Thorough good. And she is. Oh. And Patterson can oh. produce, can he? Oh, buddy. Woo! <laughs>